Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be discussing my thoughts on the new uh, Tier 6 raid um, for Ultimus here. Uh, the one that costs uh, 1400 keys, level 65 plus. You know, I think uh, depending where you're at, most of you are probably doing the fives. Um, I hadn't, uh, we, we launched the five just without uh, really looking at the six yet. Uh, we're, we're clearing a hundred percent pretty easily, you know, uh, in about 16 hours, 16 to 20 hours, depending on the day. Um, so we just figured, you know what, and we've got some folks in our, uh, alliance, we're a little bit lower. Uh, so we wanted to wait and kind of see what this raid was about. So, um, first thing I want to talk about is, uh, the rewards, uh, you know, they, they seem decent um the one thing that's interesting that uh, you'll probably notice immediately is there are no blue orb fragments i personally found that um uh i guess i already said interesting but uh, i don't understand why they did it I, I to me even if you're a whale who's got everyone maxed there's going to be a new character that comes out and you know are you really going to want i mean those again you can farm obviously with the campaign energy the blue mats but um, I, I always personally found that those blue orb mats, uh, blue orb fragments, were helpful in getting um, additional mats. So uh, for just helping gearing up some of those, you know, lower level um, characters that you probably weren't focused on. So that was the first thing, um, you know. And you've still got your typical, you know, uh, raid credits, T two blue abilities and T three purple abilities. Oddly, the T2 blue ability um, mats here, um, they're the, the numbers from tier 1, 2, and 3 are identical to the tier uh, 5 uh, raid, which I, I found a little bit interesting. So, um, but you know, hey, it's, it, it, you know, it's kind of, you know, whatever you want to do, uh, Fox next with that. But, uh, you know, the purples are clearly increased. Um, for each raid as they should be and so are the purple orb uh frag uh, fragments uh the part that i always look at is at what point do you decide to go from a tier five raid to a tier six raid so um you know i'll leave that up to you guys and you know i'm not going to go through a bunch of analytics that i already did in this i'm currently talking with my alliance about it and you know we'll make a decision that i think works best for us but um there is uh, definitely a kind of a very interesting um, kind of threshold there with uh, looking at when you should jump from the T5 to the T6. So um, the biggest thing here is uh, seeing the the raid points, and I don't actually let me let me go to my mail here. I think this is where it shows it. Uh, new raid point structure here. So the difference here is when you clear a node. In T5, you get 50 points, but when you clear your node in T6, you get 250. Again, I went through a bunch of analytics to see, you know, what the uh, right time for, um, you know, jumping from 100% on Tier 5 versus doing something in Tier 6 would be. Um, and, you know, if you want to talk to me about that, feel free to leave a comment below, and we can kind of uh, message a little bit back and forth on that. Um, not going to put that in this video, but you can see there's a clear distinction between the T5 and T6. And, you know, same thing with the Thanos and Deadpool raids. Not a, Hopefully they don't bring out another two-hour Deadpool raid. I'm going to... Uh, it's That was brutal. I cannot... Um, I'm one of the captains in my alliance, and that was, that was pretty maddening trying to get a two-hour window to work for that. So, anyway... Um, jumping back to the uh, alliance raid here so that that to me is really the the, the raid scores is really what people are gonna kind of be seeing here where you want to see the leaderboards who's where and um you know you can already see some people you know with thirty nine thousand. these are probably your high-end guilds i know there's some discussion or i'm sorry alliances uh you know there's some discussion of certain teams cheating um to get certain scores i don't think all these guys are doing that. i think some of them are just really that good and just pounding through them so um you know some of them might have been saving some of their tokens just a hundred percent through who knows uh you know us we're again we're just at tier five we just uh launched a raid not too long ago and each one of these has lasted about two weeks again scoring um oh, that i already went through that on the other um uh, in the mail though the, it's interesting i'm wondering that doesn't really seem to make much sense there but anyway 
So there's your leaderboards. You know, you've got your milestones. We'll go through that. And then the part that I really want to get to is the change in the, the T4 ability mats. So previously, you can see here, I've got 40 in my inventory. Our, our alliance got in the top 1 or 2%, so we got 40. This Now it's up to 150 at top 1 or 2%. percent would love to wish that was 150 the last time, but... You know, I get that they're changing it because people kind of voice their opinion um, and we're upset. And uh, honestly, I'm going to have to give Fox Next uh, some credit here for fixing that. So, you know, they dramatically increased these uh, uh, comparatively, of course, uh, these orange ability mats. And, um, you know, you can only get them every two weeks. So, you know, if you're lucky, you can get 150. So you're not really upgrading, you know, those skills, but every one that depending again how good you're doing one to four weeks which seems slow but you know it's a step in the right direction in my mind so um hopefully they give us more opportunities to uh to find uh these mats somewhere but uh again people complained i think they listened currently i'm pretty happy with it um and again let's just look let this end this thing on looking at uh what this raid looks like so you can see these nodes are pretty tough. Um, I think this 105 is probably the smallest one. Um, they get pretty big after that. So, you know, you're going to have to have a pretty strong team to be coming in here and doing these. And I mean, to, to properly get through, you know, I think there's 156 total nodes in each one of the, in, in not each group, there's 52 per group, 156 total. Um, you know, you've got your people, you got to average about six and a half per player to get you know 100 percent there so um and then obviously as you, you know, go down it's a little bit less but um yeah these are pretty strong nodes you know you've got i mean look at this so this red skull you've got um some good 27s 30s uh, that, that'd be interesting 29 nick fury um you know so these these nodes appear to be you know pretty challenging uh, as they should be and to me I'm okay with that uh, I don't want something that's easy uh, it should be a little bit difficult and there should be a distinction between um, you know uh, higher end alliances that can clear these and some of the you know low and middle ones that they just can't so um, there should be a separation there and um, I think that uh, they've kind of set it up uh, for that so um, I think people, it's, in my mind, there's going to be um, a lot of, uh, I'll say, alliance jumping, at, I think, at some point here, whereas people are getting 63, 64, 65, where they're going to want to get into alliances that can do these a little bit quicker um, or are doing them in general. So I think that's going to be the uh, the next thing that kind of happens in game a little bit is you're going to be seeing you know alliances recruiting a lot more. Um, because they're either losing people or they're going to be booting people because they're not keeping up. So it's going to be one or the other. Um, but uh, let's check out this last node to finish this up. Almost what a million there. So let's see what we get. You know, a five, a fifty-two uh, uh, ultimus. That's nice. Uh, you know, some forty-sevens. Four. Uh, look at that. That's, that's a solid Cree with a, a random. That's interesting. Random ravager dropped in there, but okay. Uh, probably throwing some AOE out, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm I'm excited to eventually try this. Uh, I'm probably not going to try it for a little bit, but uh, um, I'm going to give kudos currently to Fox Next, and that's my initial impressions, um, uh, or based on my initial impressions of this raid. And uh, we'll see how it kind of goes as I look into it deeper and see how you know difficult it will be to get you know people through here to get 30s and 60s and eventually 100s on this. Um, if you got any more thoughts or comments on this, I'd love to see them below. And if you want to, you know, know my thoughts on, you know, when you would should jump from tier five to tier six, uh, feel free again to put that in, in the comments below. And if you like this video and you want to see more like it or just walkthroughs or uh, general status of the games or, you know, some interesting videos uh, on how to pass certain nodes, click the subscribe button below as well as the like button. And we'll see you guys soon. Thanks.